just waking up shit, this shit come with a motherfucking red label. It come with a red fair warning label that y'all niggas don't never want to read. Y'all just, y'all, y'all don't never read the back of it. Y'all don't read the ingredients to this waking up. Y'all like, yeah, I'm learning. I'm eating healthy and I'm doing all that. Y'all don't never read. Y'all don't never read the fucking warning label to this waking up shit. And God, that's why I don't, I always tell y'all, I'm trying to give y'all perspectives. I don't want y'all to wake up. Oh, no, you think it's all cool, huh? You know what? I noticed most woke people, they never want to, most people who proclaim that they woke, they never want to see the truth. Most people who proclaim that they get it, and they, they never want to really see the full truth of what's going on. They just want to, hey, I'm going to eat healthy, and you know, yeah, I'm going I'm to walk through this world as fake enlightening my energy, uh, blah, 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 blah. But they never want to see what's really going on. See, you got the first level of woke, which is the fake energy people, positive love and unity and vibes. Fuck all that. And then you got the niggas like me and a few other niggas that try to live in the rabbit hole. And we be like, oh, so the rabbit is the actual killer. Bruh, this waking up shit is very stressful and is very dangerous. Look. Oh, you most definitely get on stage, big bro. But what I'm telling you it is, you go down that rabbit hole. Like, for example, people don't want to accept the fact that pedophilia is happening right now. People don't want to accept the fact that, like, people are eating babies and shit. Like, people don't want it. That, that's the thing they don't want to see. All these fake-ass vegan communities and all these fake-ass positive amethyst crystal communities and all these fake-ass positive love, unity, meditating, ayahuasca, tea drinking, all these fake ass motherfuckers that talk about they woke, they ain't woke. All this fake ass yoga and all this, you ain't woke, you ignoring what's really happening. That's all, that's a, all this fake ass positive love shit, that's a, that's a way for y'all to ignore what's happening. That's another part of the program. Look at me, I'm doing yoga and I'm stretching in the middle of the woods with my amethyst crystals. Bitch, they out here eating people. Fuck you talking about. Bitch, you better get ready for war. You out here talking about I'm stretching and getting my vibes up. Bitch, they out here about to kill you and your babies. You better start preparing for war. It's a war going on right under our nose, under our eyes. It's a war, an actual war. Real live another species here is literally eating people under our nose. And you niggas out here stretching, doing yoga, talk about positive vibes and get the energy right. Man, fuck all that. We need to be ready for war. Half of these motherfuckers talking about I eat healthy. You don't even know how to shoot a fucking gun. You don't even know how to protect yourself. And you talking about I'm getting my energy right and vibes right. You don't even know how to protect yourself. Look, it's all a setup. They making niggas bitches with this vegan shit. All this vegan shit, all this healthy shit, and all this fake ass shit. They just making niggas into a pussy. So when they finally attack, y'all ain't gonna be able to do nothing. Y'all just gonna run and be scared. You going to try to throw an asparagus at a nigga? That's what it is. What you going to throw, an asparagus at a nigga? You going to throw some kale at him? All right. All y'all yoga niggas. All y'all niggas out here having yoga meets and all that. When these people come for the attack, y'all ain't going to be able to do nothing. What you going to stretch? What you going to sit in the ground and meditate? Talk about deer in the name of amethyst. Protect us. Man, they gonna cut your bitch ass in half. Fuck you talk about. So look. What I'm saying is this. All y'all fake ass niggas out here talking about y'all woke and all this. All y'all fake ass woke communities. Y'all better get ready for the war. A war is about to, Look. Y'all niggas talking about, yeah, Trump building the wall. You think Trump building the wall to keep people out? 
You think they building a wall to keep people out? <laughs> All right. <laughs> they building a You ain't seen the movie The Great Wall? They building a wall to keep people in here. They going once they build that wall, they going to go for the mega eat. Because nobody going to be able to stop. Nobody going to be able to come back in and help. They going to go for the mega eat. Watch. All y'all little amethyst crystal holding niggas going to be in the room talking about, let me light some sage. There's some demons coming. I'm going to light some sage. And that nigga going to come straight through the sage and eat your bitch ass. Talk about, let me light some sage. Man, shut up. Nigga, you know who gonna come? Walmart, Trader Joe, all them niggas gonna come straight through the sage. Eat over all y'all niggas. Look, bro. All I'm saying is this. All you fake ass, positive ass niggas, y'all bitch ass. You know what's crazy? They got our females too. They got all our females on this shit. Yeah, let's, let's, let's light some sage and let's work on our am people in there because you know what this conscious community is this a way for you to run from what's really happening it's a distraction that's what this conscious community is it's a way for non-black people to go well we don't really care about what's happening there in the world or the past because we're conscious that's what it's designed for all these fake ass fake hippies and all that shit Oh, that's a way for you to say, well, we just going to ignore what's really happening. We're going to sit here and drink some amethyst. No, listen to me. All you non-black people, if you really want to proclaim you woke, then you need to understand what's really happening. If you, This is to all the non-black people. If you think you really woke, are you going to proclaim you woke? then you need to really start really understanding what's happening. And you need to go deep into that rabbit hole of your lineage and all this shit and go, damn, these niggas fucked over all these niggas and still fucking over them. What could I do to stop this shit? If you want to proclaim you woke, you need to really figure out what. Look, man, I don't care about no meditating. I don't care about none of that shit. The truth is, the truth is, there is humans here and there is non-humans here. And some of y'all are non-humans and some of y'all are humans. The question is, what side you on? You could, even, you could be a non-human on the human side. That's possible. You could say, yo, this shit ain't right. You could be like Blade. You'd be like, yo, this shit ain't right. I'm going to destroy these niggas. Yo, look. Hey, bro, stop saying the war is coming. The war is already in full effect. Stop saying the war is coming. The war is in full effect. What you mean coming? It's already in effect. What is that? Oh, woof, woof. Chomp, chomp. Chomp, chomp, Pimo, Dino. The war is in full effect. What you mean? The war is in full effect. Listen to me, all y'all black niggas, all y'all non-black niggas. Stop acting like y'all don't go home and be around non-black people and hear what they be talking about. Stop it. Stop lying, bro. To all y'all non-black people, stop acting like y'all don't go home and be around some of your friends or whatever and you hear what be happening. Stop. You know the conversations that happen when you ain't around no black people. You know it. Stop. Bruh. Come on now. Y'all know what be happening, bro. Stop it. Like, y'all got to stop faking. You know what be happening when y'all not around. Bro. Look. All these fake ass hippies and all these love, peace, and unity ass niggas. Fuck love, peace, and unity. We need to we need to really start understanding what's happening, bro. You know what's the craziest shit? I seen somebody tell me this yesterday. Somebody said, they like, you need to stop talking all that shit. Blacks kill more blacks than anybody in the world. Y'all killing y'all self. 
I say, you know what? This is the mind state of a clan member. Black people ain't out here killing each other. This is a fucking mental design that was infiltrated in our minds. What the fuck you mean? Black people are killing each other. Why? Like, see, this when you don't even think to the core of it, you have the mentality of a destroyer. The problem, why black people killing each other? Gangs, neighborhood, zero dollars, zero money, poverty, food. Like, it's so many ways, bro. It, I'm a nigga from the hood, so I understand. It's so many ways. You got niggas in. Pro dog, the projects is a project. It's a science experiment. Dog, you put a bunch of people in a fucking dirt hole with no natural resources. And then you tell them over there that that person just killed your father. They gonna go to war. Bro. Everything is a design. Every form of game banging. You got to understand black people killing each other because higher record labels are signing black artists to promote negative music. Then the music get pumped inside the children's head. Then the children go up thinking shoot that nigga is the right thing to do. Dog, it's all an epic setup. But don't ever tell me that black people are just out here killing each other more. It's an epic setup. Weed, drugs, liquor stores and everywhere in the hood. In Orange County, Irvine, it ain't no liquor stores. It's liquor stores Everywhere in the hood, it's churches everywhere in the hood, it's motherfucking music playing all day, it's negative all day, every day, all day, every day, and you wondering why and who's signing all these niggas, bro. It's an epic setup. So don't tell me, don't tell me that black people are kidding dog. Where did crack hunt go? You think a black person just made crack and started smoking it? You think a black person just invented crack cocaine in the room by himself and start smoking it? You think a black person just said, I'm going to make some crack cocaine and then spread this to the community. All right, cool. Look, my nigga... <laughs> Every fucking thing that was given to us is destroying us from the school system, from the food that we eat. Now, do you know what kind of food is pumped into the projects? Kool-Aid, sugar, ice cream trucks. Dog. It's so much shit. Nigga, high blood. It's all type of shit that's consistent. Dog. The food for less. Dog. You go to the market at Food for Less and look at the quality of food right here in the hood. Bro, it's horrible. Milk, motherfucker drinking milk, pus, all type of shit. Oh, it's it's an epic setup. Don't tell me that black people are just out here killing themselves. This a dog. It's a beyond epic setup, bro. So look, what I do want to say is this. This goes to all the men in here, and this goes to all the women in here. Start training, man. Start training. Stop acting. Stop acting like it's not a war going on. It's a war going on. Every time I come out here to Orange County and I go back to the hood, I see the war happening every day. It's happening. It's a war going on, and the war is forever going to go on. What makes y'all think is not going to go on? Just 60, 70 years ago, a dog had more rights than a human being. Just 60 years ago, we couldn't even drink out the same fucking water fountain. You think that shit is over with? You think all of that, you think they just, just a couple of years ago, it's okay to hang a nigga in the middle of everything. You think that shit just over with? You think they just said, you know what? We don't want to do those bad things no more. We're tired of those bad. Yo, it's a war, dog. And this war is going to forever happen. And it's going to keep happening over. And it's not going to never stop. So, what I'm telling y'all is, protect yourself, man. Protect yourself. Really, really start protecting yourself. 
all the girls, y'all need to stop looking pretty. Y'all need to start doing some push up. Who gives a fuck if you get Brock Lesnar's shoulders? Who cares? You know what? That's why I, when I be looking at the Samoan ladies, I be like, them bitches ready for all time. You ever look at like older Samoan ladies? They be like, them bitches be looking like they ready for any type of head up. Look, man. Look. This man just said, you ascend when you get killed. I came to the final conclusion. Somewhere in history, a bunch of white people killed themselves just so they could be ghosts. So they could block us and be racist in the other thing. I, you think you think when you die, it's going to be equally? You ever seen a black ghost? Nope. All the ghosts look like KKKs. So when your ass die, you gonna get your ass slaved in the ghost world. That what you think they you think man these people didn't conquer everything in the world. You think they ain't conquered the afterlife too? You crazy. They didn't conquer everything on the face of this earth and you think these niggas ain't conquered the afterlife? You watch your you think they ain't been in the fourth dimension already conquering? You crazy. These men then conquered everything. When your bitch ass die, they're going to be like, bring your ass over here. You'll be like, but what you, what you mean? We all going? Nah, you ain't going nowhere. Get your ass in this cage. Nigga with the rest of them ghosts. Nigga, it's going to be you and a bunch of nigga, bunch of black ghosts, nigga, in the cage. Nigga, getting your ass beat. Bro. You think... Oh, pull up, Chris. You think that you think it's over once we die. All right, cool. What the hell are you looking at? Bro, it ain't never over. Ever. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. It's war. And it's going to always be a war. But look. Like I told y'all, I'm not telling y'all to fight back, and I'm not telling y'all to fight. I'm not telling nobody to fight. I don't think we should fight. Listen to me. I'm going to say this one final time. I don't think we should fight this war. We shouldn't fight it. Mm -mm. You know what we should do? We should have a party, bro. We shouldn't fight the war. We need to have a big party. Start. It need to be like January 1st. All the black people in the world just went in the middle of the street and just, just had an epic party for the rest of eternity. Nobody went back to work. Nobody did nothing. We just had an epic, just epic turn up. The whole, I'm talking about every black person in the world, like at one time, just. What if we just did the shoot until we died? What if all the black people in the world, like every single black person was like on the count of three. One, two, three. And we just did it literally in t for like three weeks straight. We should shoot the whole Yo! We should shoot the whole world. We should literally shoot the whole world. This is crazy. On January 1st, 2019, black people shot the planet. Yo, that'd be epic. That should have go down in history books, huh? The Great Black Shooting. That's like a title that they would read in the books, the history books. On January 21st, 1920, the Great Black Shooting happened. The Great Black Shooting. That's epic. 
the great black shooting. That's fire. That's like a dope thing to be in the history book. Hey, what's what's that dance that Zayden be doing? What's the name of it? The floss? The floss? That's it, right? Hey, not to change the subject, but I was looking at the floss dance and I was like, these niggas tried to make an offbeat thing popping. You ever looked at the floss? That's like an offbeat. That's like a no rhythm thing. It's completely uncoordinated. That's a thing that you do when you don't got no type of rhythm. So you just do that to, and then they tried to make it cool. No. We need to ban that thing. You ever looked at the floss thing? That's like a no rhythm thing. When my son be doing that, I be like, don't do that. Don't do that thing. That floss thing is ugly. Oh, that explains it then. I, I was like, who made... I, you know, black people. You feel me? You feel me? Hey, hey, hey. You know, black people, we don't do no... Man, what the fuck is this? The Yankee Doodle? Bro, the floss is a no rhythm dance. It was made for no rhythm people. You feel me? Everything we do, we got a kick to it. You feel me? Mm. Raise the roof. Raise the roof. You f everything we do got a wham, 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 wham. You feel me? What's this? What the fuck is... Hey, bro. We need to... Somebody need to press charges on them kids. Somebody need to press charges on them kids because that thing is, that thing is fucking with the circadian rhythm of the world. That floss thing is fucking with the whole rhythm of the world. I think if too many people learn that thing, the Earth gonna get out of its axis. We might fly away to Jupiter somewhere else because that that thing, that thing is offbeat. That floss thing is so offbeat. If too many people do that, I think, you know how Earth got his, his circular loop and it's like a rhythm. If some too many people do that, I think the Earth thing going to go out the atmosphere because it's going to go out the little the thing. You know our, our, our where we sit at in the galaxy? If some too many people do the floss thing, Earth going to get way out of sync. We going to be flying past Jupiter and all type of shit because... That floss thing is offbeat. I think they trying to make us get out the galaxy. Cause if you think about it, all right, so the earth goes around the sun, right? Let me get let me get super metaphysical with y'all real quick. And this is how I know black people are keeping us in the atmosphere. They're keeping us in the earth's circumference. Black people, we good at the one, two. You feel me? One, two. And if you look at the planet, it go like this. One, two. One, two. You feel me? And just keep wrapping it around. One, two. One, two. You feel me? Because, you know, we always got the one, two. But if it's up to y'all, man, the earth will be doing wiggly things. Oh, oh, oh. Why it's so hard for y'all to learn a one two G? I don't get it. yo on some G shit on some real shit. I really don't understand how you could not know how to dance. I don't. I don't get it. No, 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 no. Let's 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 really get serious for a little real quick. I don't understand how you could not know the simple rhythm.
Some serious, serious, serious shit. I don't really understand how you could, like, not, like, how could you not do this? Hold on. How could you, how, when the, hold on, let me play a beat for y'all real quick. I don't get it. I need to play a beat for y'all real quick. Hold on. Let me see. All right, look, bro. When the beat come on, right? Look, bro. Listen to me, dog. When the beat come on, how you can't do this? I've been living wrong. Save me from all these lies. I do feel alone. No sleep at all. can't do that how you can't do that all right this is what y'all be doing i've been living wrong save me from all these lies i do feel alone no sleep at all I'm gonna help all y'all niggas who came dead, bro. Let me show you. Yeah. So when the beat come on, first you first before you even dance, you gotta walk in there right. You gotta it start off with how you step into the song. So you gotta step up. So it's about the step. So if you step in wrong, you automatically gonna be all beat. You gotta step into it already, right? You feel me? She said, boy, you're crazy. I woke up and now I'm broke. You, you, look, bro, it's how you, you gotta step into it. So if you don't step into it, you gonna automatically be off beat, bro. I've been living wrong. Save me from all these lies. I do feel alone. To this. Man, my body can't even do that. I got too much rhythm to even do that. I can't. I can't even do. I don't know how. You feel me? That's the first thing you do. See, see, white people, y'all so insecure about y'all self that when y'all get in the club, y'all act like y'all don't know nobody. Black people, we go to a club to where we don't know a single person and we swear to God the homie over there. 
We don't have to know a single person in the club. We going to point at somebody over there. I've been living wrong. Save me from all these lies. I do for the long. No sweet. Hey, 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 we know somebody in there. We know somebody in there. She, nigga, we gonna have a good time. Fuck you, nigga, talk about. She. Here go, y'all. I don't, honey, I don't know if I should be doing these things. Hear the beat. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three, clap. You don't listen to me, non-black people. Let me tell you this. Look, listen to the noise. I've been living wrong. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. That's all you need. I do feel alone. One, two, no one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. You feel, you feel, once you get the one, look, look, once you get the one, two, all the combin, the one, two, clap, all the combinations come from the one, two, clap, but, but you, but you got to keep the one, two, clap in your mind, you ain't got to keep doing one, two, clap, it got to be in your mind, as long as you set the one, two, clap in your mind, you got all the swag, G, look, G, let me show you. Bro, the one, two, clap, G. One, two, clap. All the combinations come from the one, two, clap. You got to get the one, two, clap, bro. If you don't get the one, two, clap, you ain't going to never get it. I think y'all be trying to dance to the hi-hats. Y'all be hearing that? Say me. From all these lies, I do feel alone. I think y'all be dancing to the hi hats. I think y'all be dancing to the hi hats or something because I don't, I don't know what y'all be listening to, G. I think I think y'all be dancing to the hi hats because that's like a room. Y'all be doing wrong things. I'm telling you, bro. Yo, this song kind of fire, though. I've been living wrong. Save me from all these lies. I do feel alone. No sleep. Then when, then when you get your girl to cut. We grow, we grow, we grow, we grow. And all we cry. We grow, we grow, we grow, we grow. And all we cry. You feel? Y'all don't know nothing about that, though. See, that was the 90s era, and we ain't gonna bring that back. That was the 90s, you feel me? That was when the house parties was lit, you feel me? You don't remember that era. That was the real era right there. That's when shit used to get real, you feel me? Hold on, my nigga. Hold on, bro. Show y'all niggas back in my days, bro. Used to get real. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. 
Let in my era, let this come on in the party. If this song came on in the party, it was about to go down. If you heard this. Damn! Fuck you, nigga. Talk about. <laughs> Shit, nigga, back that ass up. Came on, nigga. Yeah, what is going down? God. Look, you ain't ready for that era. You old now. You old. Y'all, y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all live in the gay, depressed, emo singing era. Y'all don't know nothing about that era. What's the, look, you have, I've seen grandma do it with a baby in her arm, start swinging it hard. Y'all don't know nothing about that here. You ready? Look, I worked. Remember you, remember that was an accomplishment? Why do you sound out of breath? Because I am. <laughs> she. You're the one that's out of breath, not me. I ain't young like I used to be. Remember that was an accomplishment? That was an accomplishment like, yeah, I worked her tonight. You got worked. Your mommy just got work. She ain't ready. I can get work. All right, come on. Cut the music on. Come on. What you scared of? <laughs> you got work. Come on. Put cut the music back on. Let's see what you got. Come on. Come on. Oh, see, you ain't got it no more. Come on. I know you want to. I know it's bringing your hair back. Come on. Get up. County thing. I don't know if you got it. Oh my god. Come on. I am clearly. Oh, Yo, yeah, that's your Orange County excuse. I'm looking for something. I'm Come not on. over here trying to twerk. Bring up, bring out your inner Shaquisha. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Don't be scared. Hey, on. It's not, uh, oh my god, I'm doing something. She's scared to get worked on camera. She's scared. You're the one that Work. You're scared to get worked on camera. Yeah. Hey, hey, she's scared, Red. Come on. You're just trying to intimidate me. Oh, she ain't ready. She ain't ready. Nobody does it on camera. You ain't ready, that's why. You ain't ready. I thought you was ready. Uh, these, these new Instagram girls, they ain't ready for our era. They ain't ready. They ain't ready, Reg. She ain't ready to get worked on camera. You scared? You got a reputation to live a huh, fake IG model. What? Look at these fake IG models. I don't huh? even want to be a model. IG models, models all they want to do is look good, do things. They don't never want to get it in. Huh, big man. I gotta teach you your dancing skills already. You gotta get ready. You can't be letting. You can't be out here getting worked. I'm teach your dancing skills, big man. Back, back, back.